Hey guys, this is Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. And today we are making a 3D fun fold card. It is called a bay window card. And I've seen these around and I was trying to find the directions so that the, the window on the front of the card was evenly spaced from the left and the right, but they were always pushed over to the far left. So they were always off centered. And so I created new measurements so that we could have an evenly spaced bay window card. So join me in uh, coming down here to the desktop here. Hopefully I can, yep, there we go. I'll just do this. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Let me show you the card to begin with. This is what a bay window card is. So you have it flat like this, and this is where it's not evenly spaced. But once you open it and you tuck it behind this little space right here, you have a bay window card. So let's put this together. I think this is so pretty. I'm making these for Mother's Day and um, they actually are really easy. So you can totally do this. Um, you can do this with just the things that you have on hand, but I found that the um, the paper that I'm using which is called, let's see, it's this tulip paper. It is called Flowering Fields Designer Series Paper. So I actually did with three of the different designs already. So I'll show you those at the end there. But we're going to go ahead and put this red one together with these red tulips. So this is actually two different patterns. On the back of this one are some clouds. And I didn't think that the um, clouds would look as nice on the side there. You could, I guess, but you wouldn't be able to tell what the blobs were probably. So I used this other piece, which is in the same pack, another pack that has clouds on the back. So we're using the opposite sides. No clouds today. <laughs> All right. So we have, these are strips of four inches. So you are able to make a whole bunch of these cards. Actually, if you cut your 12 by 12 in a four inch strip across the long ways, instead of, you know, up and down. So those two, we also have a uh, basic white thick card base and it's cut the long ways this way. So it's four and a quarter by 11. We're going to be scoring that together. And then I just have a strip of white. I think it's like one and a half inches because it's just, we're just going to punch the oval out um, to do the greeting here. We're only using one ink pad too. So per um, card that I've used. I've just used the one, I think just one ink pad. This one we're using Poppy Parade because that's what matches this right here. I hope everybody can hear me. If you have, um, are you, if you're watching live, please make a comment that uh, you're watching, you can hear me, where you're watching from, and hopefully everybody's got fun weekend plans. I have such fun weekend plans. Let's get into this card, but I have to tell you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. So that's why I'm a little bit late today and I'm a day early because I'm going somewhere tomorrow. But first of all, let's score this card. So I'm actually going to be using my score board today. You can totally use your trimmer, but this just makes it a little bit easy. So this is the scoreboard. It has, um, goes over 12 inches and I think it goes, yeah, it goes all the way down to 12 inches down here, but we won't need that whole area for this piece. So we're taking our card base. Again, this is 11 inches long, so we're going on the 11 inch side, and we are going to score. This scoring tool also has two tips. You got a bigger tip and a smaller tip. I would recommend using the bigger tip because you're probably not going to rip your paper that way. So let's go ahead and score on one quarter inch along here. Hold your paper so that it doesn't move. And at four and a half. So one quarter inch and four and a half and then you're going to flip your paper completely over just like this you don't have to do this but i feel like it's going to fold a little bit better so at one and a half so we still have that quarter uh score line right there still and then at three and one quarter and five and a half which is halfway through the for the card so all of the score lines are on this side. This will be our front. So the card will actually be facing this way. Okay, we're done scoring the card base here. I'll put this to the side and I'll get out my bone folder. So we are scoring that in half there. And then this first score line here next to the interior fold will fold backwards. And 
fold that back down. The next one's going to be folded down. So I'm just going to open it up so I can give that a better press here. And the next one, let's fold it back together, is also going to be folded down. So another mountain fold right here. And I'll open it back up so I can give it a better press. And this last one's going to go opposite. It's going to go back up. So this is going to be a valley fold. It's a skinny one, so maybe try to stick something like your bone folder in there or just give it, it we just needed a little bit of an edge to tuck into the end there. And then straighten that back out a little bit. So here's our card. So we're going to go, um, that's going to be glued down in our little window will look like that. So hopefully after you're done folding, if it doesn't look like this, <laughs> try again, but it should be valley, mountain, mountain, valley. Well, actually, here's another mountain, mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, valley. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, so we'll put that to the side for a second. We have to get out our trimmer. And with our four inch pieces, uh, strips of DSP, We'll go ahead and put those in the trimmer. So your patterned one, that's going to be the window. I thought this was nice. It kind of looked like you're looking out the window and there's a bunch of flowers just outside the window there. And then the sides might be, I don't know, your curtains or your wallpaper or something cute. Just a little accent color on the side. So this piece that will be in the window is four inches tall, right? And it will be three and a half inches wide. And then we're going to trim it down from there but your image is going to be three and a half inches wide. And then we're going to take an inch off of both of those sides. So we're going to go an inch on this side. Scoot it over so that you have an inch right here. If it will stay still. So now we have our flower panels right here. We'll put those to the side. I wanted to keep them in order so that they have a continuous look. And then this other piece, we'll just go ahead and cut at one and a half. So it's all, also four inches tall, same size strip, but one and a half. And then we're just going to cut that in half. So each of the strips are three quarters of an inch wide. So there's our two little pieces there. I also have a piece, did I put it here? Maybe I didn't put it here. You know, I also need a piece that is one inch. So a one inch by four and a quarter inch strip of white. So I'll just grab that from my scrap here. And that is so we can have an even card. So it's the same um, height as the card, four and a quarter and it is one inch wide. So we'll go ahead and put the trimmer away now. So we've got our panels here and this one will go like this. We can go ahead and glue those on there actually already. So go ahead and take your biggest patterned piece because you know that one's gonna go in the middle. You can't mess that up. It's not gonna go on the wrong panel because you know exactly where, where it's gonna go, right in this, the widest spot here. So start with that one, just flat on there. So you have a border between the top and the bottom and your score lines. Then make sure that your pattern continues and then glue those down on the next two panels next to that. This is, it really goes together really fast. I just didn't find one that was, you know, evenly centered. So I'm really proud of <laughs> that. I just was able to figure it out. Okay. So one of these is going to just go over here on the left and we're going to do something special on the right. So this one, we're going to put this piece down and that will help hold this this part in place so that it can be even so this piece will actually go right on top of this one inch strip so let's put these together real quick 
this is going to be the other side but we're going to put this up on dimensionals so that this little tab can tuck in behind it but you want to make sure that it's in the right place before you put it down okay so i've got dimensionals here so go ahead and put your piece right up against the edge of your card and make sure that that little fold line is tucked right in there and hold this piece actually let's glue this let's glue this piece right here first we'll glue this down that will help us make this measurement just right okay so look at this it's already almost done so we've got this at the edge right lined up we'll tuck this in there and that's where we want it so i'm going to push this panel down and then move this out of the way. You see this little tab here. We're gonna take some, some dimensionals so that the um, edge of the dimensional is butted right up against the edge of that tab. Can you see that? I'll do the next one and then I'll show you so that I don't lose my grip here. But let's see, <laughs> pick it up. All right, so can you see that? It's right up against there so that this piece fits right on top. And then when this is tucked, it only goes right up against those dimensionals and that's perfectly centered on there. Or it should be, right? If it's not centered, you just kind of wiggle the, the window. But this is where this will fit, that will tuck right in there. So let's go ahead and put some more dimensionals on. We'll leave that to the edge there and put three more on. So we're going to do five dimensionals to really keep this piece um, secure because it's kind of a skinny piece. And then we're going to take the backing off. Real quick and easy. And line that up with the outside edge. And then that just tucks perfectly in there. Look at that. So we're already done with the front. Let's, well, almost, I guess. We're going to do the Happy Mother's Day. This is something I got from, where did I put the stamp set? Oh, it's on the front top here. Timeless Tulips. I like this set a lot. I know we have a new tulip stamp set, but this is the one that I had on hand. And I really liked the Happy Mother's Day in this one. It's a little prettier than the newer one, um, but both of them will make really pretty things. This one comes with a matching punch and the other one has um, detailed dies. So depending on what you wanted to do with your cards or what you got on hand, you use what you want on the front. I am also going to be using this double oval punch. I love this for sentiment. So stinking easy. You got your background piece and then the piece where your sentiment goes on. Boom. Done. So I love that. So I think I had... I had a um, piece already cut for the background, but I don't know where it went. So we're going to go ahead. I'll just punch another one. No big deal. Okay, so this is Pool Party. I looked on the back of the card, um, the DSP, so that I could see what the coordinating color was here. So we'll just have that. And we're also going to stamp here in the Poppy Parade, Happy Mother's Day. get this out of the way so I don't drop any stamps on it that would be that would be a shame so we'll go ahead and stamp the happy mother's day and while we have the ink out actually we'll stamp the inside here so this says what a beautiful difference one single life makes which I think is really beautiful especially to say to your mother and then I also have the littlest tulip here and we'll just go ahead and put that in the corner and on the top here and also on the envelope because we want to decorate the inside and the envelope all at once look at that we just use one ink pad one stamp set and everything is so coordinating all right we're almost done we'll put our ink pad away and I'll wash those stamps later. And here is our sentiment. I made a strip because that way I'm not wasting any paper by accidentally punching out with the other part of the punch. 
So that's a tip. I don't like wasting paper. All right, we'll go ahead and glue this right on my border. And then add some dimensionals if I can grab it. We're going to add two somewhat close to the center because we don't want to um, have it overlap on the edges here because we want this to pop up. So we'll go ahead and take those backings off. Lay it flat so I can center it. And then we can tuck it. And our card is finished. Let me know what you think. I think this is a nice display for your mother or um, anybody to display for themselves. Nancy says, where is the quarter folder piece? So the quarter inch fold is right here on the edge and it just tucks right behind this one inch strip right here. So I can put the dimensions on this in the description as well for you. That might make it a little bit easier, but I, I did some of the dimensions um, folded one way and then flipped them the other way. So it was one quarter inch and four and a half inches along that 11 inch piece. And then we flipped it right over and did one and a half, three and a quarter and five and a half. So, oh, and then the um, DSP pieces were four inch strips. We cut this one at three and a half inches and cut one, one inch off each side. And then this one was one and a half inches and then we just cut it in half. Thank you for commenting, Nancy. I like to answer your questions. So let me show you what the other, oh, we need to add some, some bling. Hang on, we added a little bit of bling. This was the opal ones. This is iridescent rhinestones. And let's see how that looks. So we got little ones and big ones. And I'm not sure what happened to my take your pick tool, but we'll just grab this with scissors. All right, I want a big one right here. Let's lay this flat so I can really push it down. And we'll do a medium right here and a little one. So we just get a little, give a little bling there. So there's that one. And let me show you the other colors that I have. So in the same paper pack, I was able to do like an orangey one and a purpley one. So here's the orangey one. It's got some orangey tulips there. I think pumpkin pie and mango melody. And then we also have this one, which is Highland Heather and Blackberry Bliss and Fresh Frisia, I think. So super cute little cards that all have the insides done. And um, let me know which one you like the best. I'll be doing a bunch of these. This one I used those pearls. The um, I think they were with a, another flower set, but we still have those for sale too. So we have a bunch of different options for you. And I, um, I'm doing this video today because my husband is whisking me away to Florida for a couple days. Ah, I'm so excited. I've never just flown somewhere for a few days. It's usually like, you know, a huge family vacation and you add, um, you know, everybody goes with the family and, um, there's my face. Sorry, I, I, I lost sound there because I took the other video part out. I'm not sure how to, there's still my face. Okay, I'm really excited about going to Florida anyway. <laughs> so um, my husband's taking me to Florida for just a couple of days. I've never flown just me um, and him for just a short trip for a weekend. I, I feel like I've arrived as a, an adult. <laughs> Usually we, you know, pack up the whole family. We might wait a couple of years and take the whole family, but this is, I'm super excited. So I'm praying for good weather and that I don't burn like a lobster while I'm there because I'm really pale, <laughs> especially compared to 
and everybody else that's going to be there, I think. <laughs> Hopefully I don't blind anyone while I put my bathing suit on. <laughs> well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful video for you doing these bay window cards. And if you'd like to place an order with me, I would sure, certainly appreciate it. I, I get so excited over every single order because I'm not I'm not one of those big <laughs> big demonstrators and get lots and lots of orders. Like I freak out and and do a little dance anytime anybody places an order. So I thank you so much. You can place any orders at orderwithdeb.com, which I was shocked was available. And um you can also join my email list, which is in the description here too. So I send out a free tutorial email every Tuesday. And I was just looking at that thinking nobody opened my email. It didn't send out this week. I am so sorry. I will be sending that out right now. So if you want to jump on the email list, please do it right now. <laughs> and I apologize for that being late. But um, I, in the email, I also pointed out that today is the last day to sign up for the paper pumpkin. And um, it's a good one. We get a free stamp set. I think I gave a sneak peek video, not a video, a picture in uh, Facebook yesterday um, at Delight of My Art. And it's it's a cute one with the flowers and some sentiments in there. And that has nothing to do with the kit even. It's just an extra bonus. It's, you can just use it for whatever you want. So there's also the kit that coordinates with the, um, oh, what is it called? The, the one with all the cool paper that's all like mountainy and washy and I did the, the shadow boxes with it. This whole paper pumpkin kit coordinates with all that stuff. You need this kit. <laughs> if you don't have any paper pumpkins yet, this is the one to sign up for because you get a lot of bonuses. So um, shipping is, is included. It's in the U.S. It is twenty three fifty I think so um, you don't have to get every month it's a monthly subscription and it'll come straight to your door with all of the pieces inside for you to do your projects full color instructions but um, you don't have to keep getting them if you don't want to you can see the hint and you can pause or cancel anytime there's no penalty for that so you can just pop in and get this one with the free stamp set or you can you know keep going and see how you like it we always do a paper pumpkin zoom at the end of the month usually the last Saturday of the month I'll host a zoom and we'll get together and we'll just put them together it's a nice uh, relaxing session together to craft together and um, just chill out we do some alternate product projects so that's fun to see different ideas with that too so thank you so much for watching have a great weekend wish me luck in Florida ah, I'm so excited okay uh, have a great weekend guys bye I gotta figure out how to turn this off.